Okay, so I was scrolling through Amazon on my phone recently, and I came across what I'm about to show you, totally unrelated to what I was actually looking for, but I came across these. And this caught my eye because this is a $50 set of ATV speakers that come with the amplifier and our Bluetooth. And I just, I thought to myself like, okay, well that's stupid. I'm sure those are just awful. And then I look a little closer and realize that they have like four and a half out of five stars with a bunch of reviews. So now I'm kind of intrigued. So I click on it and I'm reading these reviews with like serious skepticism, thinking it's a scam. No one's going to have that little verified purchase thing on there. And, uh, and I was wrong. I mean, the reviews were like legitimate, actual, real reviews. So I said, screw it. I went ahead, I added it to my cart and bought them. I figure worst case scenario, you know, it'll make for an entertaining video, hopefully. Best case scenario, maybe they don't suck, but I assume they will. But if not, maybe they don't, and you need some ATV speakers and you don't want to spend a bunch of money. So we're going to open them up, test them out, and see how it goes. So prior to the install, let's talk about the specs super quick. First off, comes with two four inch speakers. They're waterproof, that's a big win. I'm not gonna get into the major details on these because, I mean, let's be honest. If you're looking at installing a $50 or so set of ATV speakers, you're probably not an audiophile. So we're not gonna get too much into the other stuff on that. Next up, we have the amplifier. This is a 100 watt amplifier and this is my biggest complaint. This isn't waterproof. Speakers, waterproof. Amplifier, not waterproof. So that's obviously an issue, right? My recommendation would be just to spend a couple dollars. You can get a really small waterproof tight box and then just drill a couple holes, silicone around them. It's a little extra work, but it's a few dollars. And uh, you know that's only if you're really gonna have this in a spot low on your machine or you're the type of person that has snorkels and is planning on going you know, super deep. Moving on. You've got the installation brackets and little rubbery deals to install it to your handlebars without issue. Here's uh, the next thing I actually really like is it comes with a handlebar mount for you know your volume and track controls and all that. Now, I realize that you, you might be like, well, yeah, it should include that. But the, again, remember, $50 ATV speaker set. We're getting a remote, it's totally Bluetooth. The speakers are waterproof, which is a plus because they're gonna be the part that's showing. That's not, again, downer your basic power cord, and then your auxiliary cable. I don't, who still has a phone that can take one of these? Cause if you're like me, like I have the Google Pixel phone and there's, you need the stupid dongle. I don't, I don't have one on me. The iPhone doesn't, I don't know. Like if you still have an audio jack on your phone, I feel like you're winning at life. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, get this thing installed. I'm thinking to make this quick montage, installation montage, roll the footage. All right, so five second montage later, it is done. And in all seriousness, this, this did not take very long to install at all. And I still have the wires and everything running here, but even with running those properly and, and making it look all neat and clean, it would not take that long. This is a very, very easy installation. The only reason I didn't clean it up and make it look real good is I'm really only using it on this scrambler as an example. So I think next what we're gonna do is actually take it outside so we don't have any echo from the room in here and, uh, and we'll test it out and see how it sounds. So one of the things I've been trying to figure out when planning this video is how to make it so you can actually hear what it sounds like, right? Because I'm going out of speakers and then into a mic. So I've got a, a Zoom recorder here and then a Rode video mic. I think it'll do an okay job. Honestly, you're probably just gonna have to take my word on some of it, I guess. Sorry, that kind of sucks as an answer, but that's, that's what I got right now. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try a few songs out. It was super easy to pair with my Bluetooth and all that. One thing I realized I didn't do is I hooked it directly up to my battery, meaning that there's technically always gonna be a battery drain when I should have hooked it up into the ignition wire so that way it only powered on when I, when I turned the machine on. Something to think about if you ever get this. Bad? Not bad? Walking home late at night, maybe half past two. A little drunk when I'm alright Cause I've been hanging with you And it feels like love Skip forward a little bit And you can't deny we are not just killing time You should let me know if you want this true Baby, you just make me feel Alright, so initial 
impressions. Obviously, the four inch speakers, the bass isn't insane, but it, it's definitely loud. So I actually had it it's turned down right now because it was it was overpowering the mic and just flooding out the sound. So let's try another song. By the way, the songs, you know, I, I have to be careful and use royalty free songs, which is uh, why you may have never heard these songs. Starting off a little slower. All right. I got problems with problems with problems with problems with problems with problems with problems I solve them. I run through the money, depression be calling. Left all my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause all right, so if rap is uh is your jam and, and you want the the oomph and the bass that goes along with it, this this isn't gonna give you that. Just full disclosure, the bass is definitely not there. So we've done country. Country is pretty good rap. Again, it's just, you know, that was a very bass heavy song and the rap wasn't there. Let's try, let's try another one. It definitely gets loud when it got towards the top end of its range. It definitely, you know, the distortion was, it was a little bit questionable. I think, I think the next thing we should do is actually turn the machine on and, and go for just, I'm just going to drive down the road here. I don't, I don't want to worry about trails and all this falling off. So I'm just going to go on a paved path and uh, get the engine revved up a little bit and make sure that we can actually still hear it and actually be able to make out the words. And you can't deny we are not just killing time You should let me know if you want this true Baby, you just made me feel crazy A little crazy for you yeah. I think about you at night I want you here with me Hear my eyes All right, so a couple thoughts after using this now and driving around and all that. Uh, one, it gets really freaking loud. Like for $50, the speakers get definitely loud enough. I have a, a very loud exhaust on this and I could still make out all the words and everything else crystal clear. So volume, like five out of five stars, absolutely. Uh, the remote control actually works really well, which is a bonus because it, it looks a little on the plasticky cheap side but it actually, when you press the buttons, they feel good, if that makes any sense, and it just, it's backlit, which is awesome. Overall, really impressed with, with that feature. Oh, I totally forgot to mention, this actually has an FM player built into it. Now, I don't ever listen to the radio when I'm actually out on the trail. I don't know how many stations most places are even gonna pick up, but I don't know, I mean, it's got it, so if you just wanna, you know, use it as you're working around your property and turn on the radio, that, that's, a, I think that's a huge, a huge perk just to have included for free, so. That's definitely a win. It's got Bluetooth 5.0, so as you saw, I was using my phone. So I can also use the controller as well if I don't want to pull my phone out to use the you know, phone controls for the Bluetooth. It's all built right in, so at least on Android phones, I'm assuming it's the same with Apple. I don't have an Apple phone, but I'm guessing it works just the same. So you've got your controls right here. You don't have to pull your phone out and you know mess with it while you're riding if you don't have a mount or anything like that. So huge, huge win there. So overall, I, I gotta be honest, I'm. I'm really impressed. Like I thought $50, this thing is gonna suck. I'm just gonna get it and try it and return it because it's just trash. I, I think it's an outstanding $50 speaker purchase. Now I say that because is the base there? No, it's not. It's a $50 system with two four inch speakers. Like there's not a lot of base. So full disclosure there, but overall it gets loud. I, I think if you don't wanna spend a ton of money, it is a fantastic option to give you music on the trail 
without spending a ton of money. So waterproof speakers, big win. The fact that the amp isn't waterproof, like kind of pisses me off. But other than the fact that there's not a lot of bass and the amp isn't waterproof, it's, it's a pretty solid unit and it's $50, it's $50. In fact, I think technically it's less. Click the link under the description or in the description down below. Check it out because the price will probably change a little But When I bought it, it was technically under $50. So overall, I'm really impressed. I think it's a, I think it's a decent setup. Obviously, you got to find a way to waterproof the amp, even if you keep it under the hood. I just, I think it's really got, you know, you got to get a box and put it in and then drill a hole, silicone the wires, that whole bit. But $50, I'm really impressed. So I hope this video was helpful. Again, if you're looking for a cheap, inexpensive way to jam to some tunes on the trail, definitely check it out. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, and I hope to see you on the trail.